Good morning all. What's in my CPC delivery? What's in this cpc.co.uk box? Let's find out. Okay, in here we've got stuff. I'll just take the paperwork out. And we have some orange cables. We have some red cables with fuses attached to them. We've got a black box. Uh, oh yes, those. And what else we got? Ah, ring terminals. Oh, they're very large diameter, aren't they? Right, let's start with the two items that I actually placed that order for. Um, and those are these, some solder lugs, which are uh, M3 hole, and these, which are crimp blues, and they say on them, uh, 2-6, so it's a 6 millimeter hole in there, and the other marking is, where is it, 16-14, and I think that's probably an American wire gauge for what wire will fit through the hole. The colour defines the diameter of the, uh, the hole, which you either crimp or in my case I generally solder these. And actually the blue uh, strain relief here works a bit like heat shrink. It closes up a little bit when you heat it up. So that works as a strain relief. So both of these items are for my bike battery rebuild. It's going to be a desktop battery for a few months and then it'll go back into the bike. So this is where I've got to. Um, I've put the balance lead on this one. This is a five-way connector for four cells. I've got my uh, very neat wires running through holes. So all the wires are in the center of the cells. I've come up with this black insulation tape and two black cable ties running around there to create a really nice strain relief for the balance charge lead. Uh, I've put on uh, XT90 onto my POS and NEG terminals. So I kind of went for XT90 because when I build bigger batteries, obviously this takes higher current than the XT60, but it's also to remind me that this is ultimately going to be 24 volts, not 12. I don't want to accidentally plug this directly into something that uh, should only take 12 volts. So these um, are to go on these uh, terminals. These are six millimeter bolts. I managed to find a few of these, so I made my XT90 connector. And the lovely thing about XT90 is that these um, terminals in here rotate so I've got them both flat down against here but ultimately when this battery is finished it's going to have one terminal coming off there and another terminal coming off the opposing battery so they, they'll come off there so I will need to rotate these terminals in order to rearrange this plug but, but uh, fortunately you can do that so that's rather good so this is for all of these uh, M6 screws these little solder tags are for my balance leads, which I'm putting on these. Well, they're kind of M3 um, bolts. I've soldered them onto the underside of uh, these bus bars, as you saw in the last video. And so these are to do the remaining balance leads, because on the second pack I'm working on right now, um, I've got my wires coming out, but I don't have any tags, which is why. I ordered these. On this battery you can see I went for the four uh, wire connector, same strain relief arrangement of uh, insulation tape and two cable ties so that, that can't really pull out. Um, so this is an add-on to this one when you put these two on the bench, positive and negative. These two will be linked together and actually I made this uh, with a piece of brown wire because I kind of figured brown's halfway between red and black isn't it kind of so that'll go across there and then my XT90 will actually come out that way uh, and I will have a total of nine connections to my various cells 
which I will then create another lead which has a 5 and a 4 plug and goes to a 9 way socket, not on my bench at the moment. Also in my CPC order are these fuses. Now some time ago I bought these red ones which are quite nice because they're red. <laughs> So you can put them in the positive of your 12 volt system. Um, I've put XT90s on each end of this fuse. In between here, I could put a piece of black wire and this would just be a fuse attachment extension sort of thing. But I might also put my BMS connections in there. So I saw these and I thought, well, I, I need to pad out my CPC order to £17.50 because that's the threshold for free postage, which I also, which I always do like to hit. But these look pretty good. They're rated up to 30 amps. Do they come with a fuse? No, they don't. I'll have to supply my own fuses. But they look pretty chunky. Uh, that wire looks, looks like it's about four square millimeters, possibly. So 30 amps, yeah, that sounds about right. And actually it's just occurred to me that in the bike battery box there's this really horrible fuse what's horrible about it well let's have a look uh, I think at this end yeah this sort of brass terminal looks really flimsy I don't know whether you can see the two pieces of brass running back off that top pad yeah you can just about see them there but they look really thin, not much thicker actually than the hugely thick blade of metal that runs through this 40 amp fuse. So yeah, this fuse holder is a bit horrid. Now if I unsolder it from my IEC connector, this is the one with the funny earth pin that runs sideways so that you can't accidentally plug mains into there, and replace it with that. Um, yeah, actually 40 amp fuse is a little bit over the top because this thing is 25 volts, um, 250 watts to the motor, so that's 10 amps. So I mean you could probably get away with a 20 amp fuse. 30 amp fuse I think is more than adequate. Yeah, put that in there, put a, one of those uh, new 6 mil ring terminals on there and uh, solder it down onto that connector, replace it with that. Quite like that idea. Um, yes, yeah, so I bought five of these fuses. Okay, what's next? A couple of these. So these are IEC plug to cloverleaf socket, I suppose that is. And that's because I've got a number of power supplies that came with the various power banks, the Jackery, the Fremo, that have this cloverleaf connector and I can just immediately adapt it to a more standard IEC so I'm not constantly looking around for cables and it padded out my order to bring it up to £17.50. So here's one of those power supplies um, this one is 24 volt 180 watt I think this came with the Explorer 1000 the 1000 watt hour but that's got cloverleaf plug in that and it turns it into IEC I love little adapters like this. I think they're excellent fun. Next up is this. It's a little IEC uh, plug to four sockets. And I have in previous CPC orders bought these lovely little half meter IEC extension leads. And so what I can do with these is daisy chain these uh, distribution boxes together. And I've got a few of these. This one actually um, is a four-way. Previously I bought six ways and I've got a few of these in the shed. In fact, let's take the camera out and have a look. Yes, you may have spotted in a recent video this sort of curtain of hanging incandescent lamps. And you can see what they're plugged into. They're actually plugged into the six-way versions of that same distribution box with the little daisy chain jump leads and the idea of this is that it was well going to be it may still be um, I'd have lots of those dangling incandescent lamps and you could load up these sorts of things power banks for doing my um, test reviews 
of the AC inverter in those portable power stations. Now, nobody's actually sent me one for a while, so <laughs> when the next one will be, I don't know. But uh, yes, I wanted to build this adjustable load and you can see on these lamp sockets that they're all switched so I can switch on more and more of these lamps until I load up the inverter sufficiently that it cuts out. That's the idea. And finally in my CPC order are these. Um, these are again half meter. I got quite a lot of one meter um, of the black extension needs which I've had for many years but I'm quite enjoying collecting the half meter ones now. So I thought I'd get a couple of orange ones um, and that's so that if I've got a cable draped across the floor I'll probably have to show you this actually. So recently I've taken to making sort of bespoke length cables so for example from the AC200 there over to one of my ant miners which has just come on because I've connected it um, I've got three sort of half meter lengths of IEC with connectors in them well now of course there's a doorway there so now I can have a little section of orange inserted into my cable across a doorway um, which kind of indicates that it's a bit of a trip hazard or I can have a cable with alternating orange and black segments yeah that looks fun doesn't it so that's what was in my CPC final order. Cheerio.